This screencast will go through the install of Olay's 7226 transmission computer. And as you can see right now, I have a um, powertrain control systems TCU 2000 set up. And uh, while it did shift, um, I really couldn't open up that throttle position sensor probably more than uh, 15%. And it would get confused between uh, what gears it should be in, so it would upshift and downshift repeatedly. And it would get in this uh, strange cycle until I just 100% let off the gas and coasted for a while. Then it would kind of reset itself. So I'm sure it's a configuration change, but to be honest, it's just uh, taking too much effort uh, right now. So I bought Olay's computer to see if uh, it was already kind of pre-configured out of the box to, uh, to get me to a better starting point. So here I have um, another shifter, uh, definitely not a 123. This car is a 123 chassis, so I got this out of a 320, I think. I'm really not even sure. I had to buy this um, electronic control unit in the shifter. This is the indicator, and then underneath of it is a sensor where the wires came out of because it was sending the wrong signal, and you can see the bottom of it there. Uh, it would not always detect and send when it was in drive, fourth, third, second, and I couldn't even get to first. Uh, additionally, I found that I had to shim this uh, plate down here. It's kind of hard to see. You can see the d uh, indent plate, plate here. I actually shimmed it up, and I just can't pick it up with it installed like this. Um, you can probably see a metal washer down there. But to get the indents in the right place that corresponds to the gate on the shifter and that sends the right reading, um, you know, the shifter's now in pretty good shape. So also, this is just, uh, as I mentioned, temporarily mocked up. I mean, all the wires are just hanging out here, uh, taped up. Uh, once we I tear down the car and reinstall everything, of course, that will be uh, changed. It'll be mounted permanently. Now, uh, the TCS or TCU 2000 has a speed sensor on the drive shaft, or actually the yoke coming out of the transmission, and you can see that in some of the photos uh, in the photo gallery um, on the Facebook page. And it also relies on the uh, a speed sensor. So rather than using an aftermarket speed sensor, I actually went and got a um, W210 uh, throttle position sensor off of. Um, Again, I think it was an E320. Before I take it all apart, I wanted to get a, a shot of the throttle posi position sensor and how I ran the throttle linkage. Uh, this really caused me a lot of problems because I didn't really have anything to look at in terms of a reference. Basically, I welded a tab onto the existing 123 um, linkage and um, went to the salvage yard, grabbed some, uh, some ends, and then I made this bracket here uh, this for the throttle position sensor. And it just hooks down here on the block. You probably can't see it too well. And it's um, right now, again, just mocking up. Um, I'm actually either going to make a carbon fiber part, and you can see uh, the work I've done to make a mold for that already on the Facebook page. Or I'm probably, I'm also considering making uh, one out of just thicker gauge metal. So I made this uh, this little arm. And I think in uh, version 2, I'm going to bring it up a little higher so that I don't have to have that bend in there. Uh, or I might uh, just modify the, the linkage a little bit uh, to, to avoid that. But it is working. It's working just fine. I just don't like the flex that it introduces. Okay, so the new wiring harness actually comes with that connector on it. So I can, right now it's hooked up to the uh, TCU 2000. So I can go ahead and pull that off. And um, I'm going to disconnect the uh, speed sensor down below and also the, the main plug for the transmission. So I mentioned the uh, drive shaft speed sensor and this is uh, part of the kit that came with the PCS. And you can see the ring on the back of the um, propeller shaft it comes out of the transmission. It's an aluminum ring. You can actually see a magnet down there and then the, uh, the speed sensor has a little aluminum bracket. So later on with the Arduino uh, transmission computer, I might go ahead and reuse this, but for now, I'm just going to disconnect it. Now, one thing to note about the, uh, the PCS and the way it's wired, I really don't like it. So it's nice that it has these uh, big waterproof connectors on it. 
uh, but that makes it really hard to have a decent size hole in your firewall or your floorboards. And uh, now instead of having, you know, a, a super small hole for the three wires that go through there, I have to have probably a, I don't know, seven eighths inch hole uh, to get that fitting through unless I want to cut it off. So the whole kit is like that. Um, you know, there's big connectors, which makes it really hard to get a nice, clean firewall, which is what I'm eventually going to be going for, uh, or a minimal amount of holes in the car. So now I'll go ahead and uh, disconnect this, and then I need to take the main fitting uh, or connector off of the transmission itself. So this is a uh, kind of a side-by-side -side comparison of the control units. Um, Physically, they're about the same size, except the Arduino unit is a little, uh, little shorter. Doesn't stand up as tall. But what I really want to show is uh, the wiring harness. Now, the PCS is a generic interface, and I knew that buying it. Uh, I bought the aftermarket harness uh, specifically for the 7226, so we got the transmission uh, um, fitting. The shifter fitting, however, I had to use those connectors. Um, and wire them up, which isn't a big deal. None of this is a big deal, but it increases your chances of getting something wrong. And here we had um, the throttle position sensor, the RPM sensor, power, ground, and then this cable here goes to the USB cable. So not terribly complicated to hook up, but as I mentioned, these big fittings uh, going through the firewall requires a massive hole. And um, there's really no way around that unless I take the pins out or I cut the wires and splice them back together after the cars together, which defeats the entire purpose. So by comparison, here's the Arduino. Now the Arduino, um, is probably half the cost of the the PCS and it has more capability out of the box so for actually it was in my case um, maybe 40 percent of the cost and I got a boost sensor so now I can hook this up uh, in line with the boost to help me determine um, when it should shift up or down wiring harness has the shifter actually this is the throttle position sensor uh, connector and the shifter connector already in so it's already installed and as you can see the connectors are much smaller um, but really I could pass these through the firewall and they're still uh, smaller than the smallest um, PCS fitting so like the uh, like the PCS, it also comes with the Mercedes fitting for the transmission. Uh, it also comes with a display and joystick. So this is very slick. Um, right now I have to drive uh, really with a laptop hooked up. And uh, if I want to change anything, I, I do it there, and that's fine. But uh, it's nice to know that this controller actually has the capability to just plug this in out of the box. It's not an add-on. It's included. Also, something I really like is knowing what gear I'm in. It's one thing for the shifter to tell me what gear it's in. Uh, it's another thing um, really to know what the car thinks. So when the shifter had a lot of slop in it, um, unless I was driving with the lights on to see what it read, I really had no idea what, what gear it was in. So this will be good. And again, uh, the unit is, is not as tall, which is nice. Um, it does not have the mounting holes that the other one has. Uh, I don't suspect that'll be a problem. Um, I also like that the labeling is right on top of the unit. So next we're going to install this and see how it goes. Okay, so I got the whole unit installed and already went for a test drive. Here you can see that the boost uh, sensor is just mounted in line with the uh, actuator for the wastegate. Uh, again, I know it looks sloppy, no need to comment on that. Uh, I just want to see this thing work, and it does. So I'll need to clean that up and uh, get things installed so it's a little, little better than that. 
So initially I did have a problem. The big, uh, it wouldn't come out of first. And what happened is the, uh, the cable that goes into the side of the transmission actually was not seated all the way. So once I took the, uh, the connector out, pushed it back in and made sure it's seated properly, uh, now I'm, I'm shifting just fine. As expected, third to fourth is real sloppy. I'm probably going to go ahead and hook up that external uh, speed sensor again. Um, but I'm, I'm very pleased with the starting point. I mean, I can really get on it and um, it, it's working fine. Uh, the way my linkage is right now, uh, I actually need to pull out my injection pump, rotate it uh, a few degrees and put it back in uh, because the linkage is hitting the block. So I can't open it up all the way. And even if I did, that little sheet metal throttle position sensor bracket would uh, flex too much. But in terms of the transmission, very happy with it. So let's go a bit, go ahead and uh, go inside the car. So here we are inside the car, and uh, you can you can probably hear the uh, Holly Black fuel pump screaming away. Uh, but I wanted to show you the interface here, and uh, I really really dig this. Um, little joystick off to the side so if I want to uh, go in and look at data while I'm driving I can do so um, I need to see if I can change kilometers per hour to uh, miles per hour because that'd be a little more beneficial for me but uh, setup parameters were real simple all I did was come in here and I set up the throttle position sensor I just uh, pressed up when it wasn't open I pressed uh, down when I had the pedal floored and that was it. Next I came in and um, use internal speed and RPM. It's set to 2 because right now I'm not using my external um, speed sensor. It's using the, it's calculating it based on information coming from the transmission. So I have no external devices set up for that. And then there was a boost. I'm, I'm sorry. Lever set up. Standard Mercedes uh, shift lever, so it's zero. And I think there were a couple other things in here. Boost control. I need to go back through the documentation, but I there was a setup for boost, uh, but it, it was already configured. Uh, Olay configured it based on the information I gave them, so it was already set up correctly. But the documentation is more than sufficient to get going with this. Uh, it took me a lot more time to rip the old one out uh, than it did to put this this unit in. And I'm not knocking the PCS 2000 or the PCS TCU 2000. I think it's a very sophisticated product. Uh, I just think it's more sophistication than I need. I need to drive my car. I don't need to uh, play with the transmission computer um, as much as I would need to with that. Uh, as you can see, it's just uh, tie wrapped to the harness now. I got my little gear selector over there. Uh, so as I'm driving, I know what it's doing. And uh, just real pleased with it. Again, three to four shift is sloppy. But I think I, I can configure that now and uh, have a good starting point to try to minimize um, that shift. 